What's poppin'? It's your boy Parkway TJ, and I'm locked in with Up Next TV. We on the way. What it do? What it do? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Kevion Moore from Up Next TV. And today, man, we got a special guest, man. Introduce yourself, bro. Let me know who you is. What's going on? What's poppin'? It's your boy Parkway TJ. We on the way. We locked in right now with my boy on Up Next TV, man. Yeah, man. So, uh, man. I first met you at the, uh, it was a, a little artist event, uh, Trap, Memphis artist Trap 62 was having, bro. You know, you was get up there, you was doing your thing, bro. You actually, bro, like, she used up there performing, you was doing your thing, bro. Like, and then you yeah. was performing a little longer and all that, bro. So, uh, let's talk about that, man. So, how did you first find out about the event and all that? Man, um, my boy Trap, shout out my boy Trap 62. He sent me the, um, the flyer, the information. I had to do it. I fuck with him. He one of my favorite artists down here, bro. He one of my favorite, like, underground artists. Yeah, man, I got on stage. I just, I like performing anyway. Like I just, I just get got into it. Like I was just yeah. feeling it. That shit was crazy, bro. The crowd was fucking with me. Like, I, I love that shit, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was up, bro. So, uh, when did you start rapping? Like, how did you get into the rap, uh, to the rap game? Like, when did you start? What inspired you to start? Man, I'm gonna keep it, I'm keep it a bang. I really just started taking it serious like last year, but I used to sit up like. In middle school, ninth grade at the computer, just writing songs to instrumentals on YouTube, falling asleep at the computer and shit. Like, I ain't know I was gonna really just, like take this shit like as serious as I'm taking it now. But I ain't gonna lie, this shit fun as hell. I know I'm just gonna keep going with it, see what see what this shit do, see where it take me. Yeah, this was this was up, bro. So so you so at first you was already rapping and you didn't know it. Like you know, have, have writing music always been easy to you? Yeah, hell yeah. Like What's your I just, style, like how, how do you come up with writing music? I really go off, I go off what I'm feeling, like, that day, like, it's weird, because, like, if I'm out, like, in the club, or I'm out with my niggas or something, and I'm drunk, you know what I'm saying, high, or some shit like that, like, I come up, I come up with, like, some turn shit, or, like, there's some shit going on, some bad shit, I come up with some bad shit, some pain shit, I really just go off emotion, you know what I'm saying, I go off emotion, I go off the vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was so. This was so. So, uh, take us back, bro. Before the music, like, how was it growing up for you? Like, what was you? How, how was your childhood like? Childhood, I mean, like, it was everything wasn't peachy, but everything wasn't bad either. Cause mom Deuce, one thing she did teach me was to be a hustler. Mm -hmm. She showed me how to hustle. I can say that my mom, mom, she a hustle for sure. She made sure I had what I needed, had what I wanted, like, and she just showed me how to grind. She showed me like the way of the world, how to prepare me for the world, like. Most women can't do that when it's just her, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But she, yeah, she turned me to a, like turned me to a beast, and then she just like elevated me. That shit elevated me, and it's showing now, like as I'm getting like progress and getting older in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How did you come up with the name Parkway TJ? Like, what made you name yourself Parkway TJ? Man, that's, I just grew up on Parkway. Mm -hmm. I, my name, if originally it was something else, but I dropped a song called Parkway TJ in yeah. my apartments. Shout out to Salem. Yeah. Man, everybody just started calling me Park. Man, I fuck with that John Park. They just started calling me Park. And that shit yeah. catchy. What song? Uh, so, so was there? Was there like an album or EP you dropped? It was like a single that you dropped. Can we go? What can we go look that up? It's a single. Actually, it's on all streaming platforms. Yeah. You can look it up anywhere. The video out, everything. Shout out LMB on the video. Dude, go crazy. Real yeah. talk. But yeah, that's that John everywhere. Yeah. This was so. This was so. And uh, you as an artist, bro, do you? Cause you know you see a lot of up and coming artists, bro. You know they mess with certain producers. They mess with certain videographers just because they 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 like the way that this specific person do that shit. Like, are you yeah. like that? Like, do you mess with certain people? Man, I um, really, I like gravitate from different like people. Like, but my producer, <clears throat> I got like two producers. They go crazy. Shout out Champ. Shout out Nico. Well, for the videos, hey, you talking I, about uh, my bad. Oh, you talking about Champion bad. Beats or not? You talking about Champion Beats? Oh, this is my guy. This is my crazy. guy. He okay. go crazy. He teach me how to engineer, but yeah, dude, dude go crazy. I fuck with him. That's a real. That's a real nigga. I fuck with him. Yeah, but hell yeah, like for the videos, I just gravitate from like the same different group of people. But I ain't gonna lie, I ain't nobody harder than my boy Micho. Yeah, like yeah, I just yeah. I gotta lock in with Micho. Yeah, no cap. Yeah, this was so. Uh, how important is a videographer and, and a producer and engineers? For what you do, you know, or do, cause like you know, a lot of people they bounce around, you know, yeah. and they can mess up their sound. So, how important is it for you as an artist? Um, it's like for the engineers, super important, cause my voice, I got like a certain sound, mm -hmm. and it's like I'm just now learning it and understanding like how I sound. I got a certain sound, like if you can't 
match that sound, man, that shit gonna sound like, that shit, I ain't gonna fuck with it. I'm picky when it comes to my music, cause, I mean, it's my art. It's just with any artist, like, you gonna be picky when it comes to your art, so, yeah, you know. Yeah. This is so. This is so. Uh, so let's talk about outside of music. You know, a lot of people may not know outside. We actually sitting in, in the shop right now, bro. You know, you, yeah. you, you be chopping up, bro. So talk about that a little bit. Like, what what got you into cutting her and all that? Talk about that. My I started learning to chop like seven, eight grade, like straight fucking. Bro, I used to want to cut shit her, up. I can't, I can't do it, bro. You know, it's it's, it's a certain type of yeah. art. It ain't easy as it look. Nah, it ain't. I swear to God, it ain't, bro. It's really like it's really the standing up, mm. standing up, bro. Then. Niggas don't be having full hurt, bro. Hey, bro, if you ball, just let this shit go, bro. Yeah. Just go and let it go, bro. You can't yeah. do shit with it, bro. Yeah. But yeah, like, like seventh, eighth grade, bro. I just like, I started like getting interested in this shit, cause I wanted some money. Like I went around like the the older niggas who was having this and doing this. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to go get me some money. So that's that's the first thing I thought of. And, you know. Do you think it's true? Like when people come. From a low poverty neighborhood, a low poverty area, like they, they force you to become creative. Like you either gonna do some creative shit and yeah. get money, or you gonna do some bad. No cap. Like you have to, um, like you gotta be creative. Like when you in in that certain type of area in that certain type of environment, mm -hmm. because it ain't it, it's not much handed to you, or it's like it's not many opportunities given to you. Yeah. Because the people surrounded by you are like they either in the same position you in, or worse. Like, but if they in a the higher position, they they not there no more. Like I don't blame. Like I want to be there. Like I, when this is gonna be my turn, like I'm gonna give back, but I'm not gonna be there either. You know what I'm saying? So your environment do take a like take a toll, but it's up to you. Yeah. If you, you know what I'm saying, you do it the right way or the wrong way. <clears throat> but your way is your way. Yeah. So so yeah. let me ask you this: What what was that moment that you realized, bro? Like we fucked up. Like what made you realize? Like what what was that moment that you made me realize? Like the community fucked up, my family fucked up, and I ain't saying that y'all yeah. was like poor, but what made you realize? Like bro, we ain't really just having shit. My, I'm, when I got in ninth grade, and I realized, like, damn, like, I really ain't got shit going. Like, when you get, like, when I got in high school and I seen, like, all the niggas and, like, niggas in the grade with me, like, with new this, new that, that got this, got that, and I realized, like, man, I got to do something. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that shit just, like, took a toll on me. It made me go harder. Made me more ambitious. Like, I started off young, grinding and stacking because I knew could nobody give me shit. Yeah. So I know I had to be the one. So. Yeah. Yeah, bro. So yeah, cause a lot of people that grew up in the community, you know, they know they messed up. And this either when you grow up in when you grow up in communities like that, this either shit you do or die. It's either you yeah. gonna, it's either you gonna trap or like you say, find you something creative to do. Yeah, for sure. So, so talk about your barman, like you know, how did you? What made you want to further in it? Really, I'm gonna keep no, I'm gonna keep one hundred. The bread, the money, mm -hmm. and that shit kept me out of a lot of trouble, bro. Yeah. Like it kept me out of a lot of shit and it kept me away from a lot of like bullshit ass fake ass niggas, bruh. Mm -hmm. And it kept me in my own little bubble. I like being in my own little bubble anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like for uh, other than this, you know, I was gonna have to get some money either other way. And yeah. I was gonna have to fuck with different niggas. And that ain't what I wanted to do. So I was just like, like I'm gonna do my own thing and yeah. still I'm gonna do this at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that shit just like helped me like like Help me find me at the same time. Like at the at the same time, help me find yeah, so, me. So when you got out of high school, like you automatically went to barbering school and did have you ever had like a real job while you was while you was yeah. doing it or I had a job like you listen to my new song just drop Animal. I'm talking about like when I worked at Popeyes in high school. Mm -hmm. I really just got a job just to buy shoes because I couldn't get shoes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like wearing my cousin them shoes, like hand me down shoes. I wanted my own shit, so I, went, I had a job in high school, but that shit wasn't no, that shit wasn't no bread. So yeah. I got straight out of high school. I tried college. That shit. What bro, college I'm you tried to go to? Bro, Southwest, bro. Like, I'm in digital right now. Bro. Yeah. I like it. Shit. Yeah, I, I couldn't like do it. I can't, I can't do school, bro. Yeah. I tried. I went straight to barber school, bro. Yeah. I went straight to barber school. That way I was still making my bread on the side and going to school. Yeah. I just couldn't, I couldn't do it, bro. I couldn't do the college shit. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't do it. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, what what, what made you could do it? Like, do you feel like it was too? Cause, bro, to be honest, bro, it to me it's really not a lot of work. You know? yeah. And then I, I know a lot of people on the campus, so they make it easy. Then the the women are they be cool, so they, yeah. I, I like it, bro. You know what See, that's why I think I couldn't do it, cause I had took the I took night classes when nobody was oh, yeah. old for. So you, yeah, you can't. That was like a nursery home, bro. Yeah. I couldn't do shit. Yeah. I swear to God, yeah. I had to take night class, so that shit was really like. 
Yeah. That shit was lame as hell. I yeah. said, yeah, this shit ain't for See, me. See, yeah, you took night classes, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, it's different. Um, did, well, How long did you stay before you dropped out? I'm going to keep one. I stayed one semester. I got, them, oh, I got that check. And I got up out here. Yeah, them checks do be lovely, though, bro. Like, them motherfuckers be, be maculent. Yeah. I swear to God. <laughs> Especially when you ain't got shit. Them motherfuckers, them motherfuckers be hitting. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. So, so when you did that, you know, did you go into, did you go into college knowing that you want to, knowing that you want to be a barber, you just doing some shit anyway, or you kind of like, kind of like barbed me something that I really want to do? Or you always knew that you wanted to do it, you just was trying college out? I ain't had no, um, no sense of direction, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I just went to college because my mama wanted me to go. Like, I ain't know what I wanted to do with my life. Like, mm -hmm. I had two things in my mind, you know what I'm saying? It was either, like, cut her or get my money, you know what I'm saying, the other way type shit. Like, them the only two things I had in my mind. I ain't know what I wanted to do. I ain't, no, I ain't had no sense of direction. I knew I couldn't afford to go to no university or no shit like that. So mm -hmm. that shit wasn't even in my mind. I was just like, I'm going to just make my own dudes happy. Yeah. Go to college. I just couldn't do it. Yeah, what was Man. you studying while you was in college? Bro, I was studying business, bro. Like, yeah. Cause I was like, I, I know I'm gonna have on. You know what I'm saying? Just give myself a pep talk. Like, I don't want to even just in tune with this yeah, shit. Cause they not gonna get, one thing I can say about college, bro, it's not how people, the business that people think. It's like they set you up to work for like corporate type business. They yeah. not gonna tell you how you to start your own business. And that's yeah. what I, I figured out. I was like, bro, this shit really some bullshit. Like, I'm just in this hell for no reason. Yeah. So I was, I was just done with that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This understood, this understood, man. So, why you was in, why you was doing it? Was you dropping the little songs or was you rapping then or you weren't? I you wasn't taking it serious. Like I was still writing songs. Like I would be in class like writing songs still. Or I wore earphones in my ear. Like, but I, I was like, bro, this shit ain't finna do nothing. Cause I know what I know what the city want. Mm -hmm. They want to hear about you know what I'm saying. Gun, Draco, fucked up. I know what they want to hear, so I was like, this shit ain't finna do. I'll just write this shit, cause mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. It just help. It helped me when I write. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, my, what's up? Yeah. why do you stay away from that, uh, that type of music, like the Dracos and, you know, really drill music? Like, why do you stay away from that type, type of music? I'm going to keep it a bang. Like, I, I love that type of music. Like, that shit be bumping. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it on. That shit be bumping. It's just, it would be, it would be cap of hell for me to go out and make music like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When I could just make music that come from, you know what I'm saying, for all the shit that I've been through, yeah. all the shit I've seen type shit. Yeah. But that shit be hard though. It's just like that shit just start. That shit do sound the same. Though. This shit getting repetitive. But you know. And what then, saying? bro, a lot of things mm -hmm. is like a lot of this music now, bro. Like people getting indicted over this shit because some of this shit niggas putting their song, they really do be doing it. And then yeah, like yeah. it get niggas killed now. Like you know, cause that's why. So my rap, it, I want to say rap dangerous. It depends on your genre of rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I agree with that. But at the same time, a nigga like I feel like some of these niggas be out here like too tough as hell and be like. On some bully shit, you know what I'm saying? Cause I like it been, a, I like it been some shit like where a group of niggas then fuck with this certain type of nigga, you know what I'm saying? He ain't even on that type shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it really just be like niggas' minds. It be if niggas mature enough or not, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this honestly, this honestly, man. Uh, I don't know how I saw it on Facebook, bro. But I, don't, I was recently, I was scrolling through. I think it was like a month or two ago, bro. Yeah. You 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 had a you you had a baby. Don't you? Did you have a baby? Or you had a baby on the way or something? Man, when I look, bro, this is my that's my nephew. Oh, for that real? Was my okay, sister. okay. Bro, that okay, shit I killed. I was scrolling, look, bro. That shit killed my whole fucking. Bro, I'm to look, bro. I ain't got no kids, y'all. Oh, you, you ain't know? got no kids. Oh, you ain't got bro, no I kids. Sure thought you was, I yeah. sure thought you was having a kid. Bro. My DMs went crazy. Yeah. Bro, I got caught all type of bitches and hoes. Yeah. All type of shit, but we ain't gonna talk about that. But yeah, okay, that's my okay. nephew, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you ain't got no baby, you ain't got no baby. No anyway. kids. Yeah. Are, no is part with TJ in the relationship? Nah, hell nah. Yeah. Hell okay. Nah. Why do you stay? Why do you, Why do you stay away from relationships? Cause you know, like, are you? Do you feel like that you on the rise? You don't want these women to knock you off, or women's be bullshit these days? This I say like that's like ten percent, but like to be honest, I'm really selfish as hell with, with my time <laughs> right now. I ain't gonna even yeah. lie. Like, I ain't got time for that shit right now. I got too much going. Yeah. I got too many people depending on me to just, like, let something like that just, like, come in the way and just set me back. Because it's going to set me back. Yeah, relation for sure. It's going to set me back for sure. Because yeah. she going to want the time, and I ain't got that. I ain't got no time for that. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, if she want to kick it, we can kick it type shit. Yeah. But right now, my focus is my career. You know what I'm saying? My focus is to, to be some. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Way bigger than what I am right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't focus on that right now. Yeah. 
This what's up. This what's up, man. So uh, let me ask you this. You know, uh, cause you the first person that I interviewed since for this two times in Money Bag Yo. They yeah, signed yeah. with each other. You know, and you don't gotta go deep into it if you don't want to. But how do you feel about that? Like, you know, for the city of Memphis and for the rap guy. You know, cause at one point they was beefing. Hip. Yeah, I don't yeah. say they was beefing. They had differences heavy. So what's your opinion up on it? Like, would you could you see yourself signing to somebody that you once had difference with? It depends on the situation. To me, honest, the type of person I am. I say yeah, like, but it depending on like how far, you know what I'm saying, how how deep this shit got. Mm -hmm. If it ain't, you know what I'm saying, get too crazy, I say yeah. But I respect that shit they did, though. That's some mature shit, right? And they gave the city a good look. Yeah. And, to, and like, that's, that's some shit that we wish we could have seen with two other individuals that we never got to see. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, some, that's some shit we wish we got to see, because, like, that shit, I ain't gonna lie, that shit gave me chills just to see two, two of the hardest niggas just become, actually be like, represent themselves as men, bro. Like, yeah. a lot of niggas don't do that because they trying to impress other niggas or they worry about what other niggas gonna say. Because yeah. a lot of niggas still got boy mindsets. Like, yeah. that's, I fuck with it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to drop a tape. I need that. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. I need yeah. that. Yeah, this what's up. So, what's your, what's your, uh, what's your opinions on the scene of Memphis right now? You know, do you feel like do you feel like Memphis got the same right now, or do you feel like we gonna have it for a couple more years? Or do you feel like it's just for right now? We just hot right now. We hot right now, but if we keep up what we got going on, we gonna we gonna be the wave, mm -hmm. cause everybody's still in our wave. Like if if, if 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 we pay attention to it, but it's like we really gotta stop. If we can stop beefing with each other, like hating on each other by the smallest shit. Cause these niggas really, I ain't gonna lie, these niggas really be poop for the hair. They really be beefing with their cousins and type shit like that. Like that shit be, un, that shit be square as hell. Yeah. If we really stop beefing with each other, we can be awesome. Our platform could be fucking amazing, bro. Do you feel like it? Do you feel like the beef ever stop? Do you feel like it? It'll get, it's getting worse. It ain't gonna never stop. I mean, yeah. but like, that is what it is. That's how. That's how. How do you shit separate is. yourself from that though? Like, how do you? Do you pick and choose who you miss with, or you kind of like just yeah, come to your I nigga cut, open? I cut a lot of my niggas off, and I I still miss them to this day. They still text and comment to this day. Like, oh my, you don't you don't fuck with me, you don't fuck with us, you don't try to kick with us. I miss my niggas. I'm gonna keep it a bang. I'm, I miss my niggas like a motherfucker. Like, yeah. but it, I just gotta do like what's best for me. Like, I know if I go back to that crowd, I know you know what I'm saying. I know where, where my life gonna gravitate to. Like, mm -hmm. I get I just got too much going on right now. I'm too focused. Yeah. I just can't, I can't, I can't lose focus right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah bro, that's understood, that's understood, man. So, uh, man, what you cooking up? Like, you know, in the, in the studio, like, what you got coming soon? You got in the man. albums? Like, come, tell us about that. What you got I coming? Got, I got some shit on my sleeve, a tape on my sleeve. I'm finna do a joint called Parkway and Pals, man. It's gonna be me and straight features like me and, like, some of my favorite Memphis artists on that joint. Like, Why Parkway and Pals? Like, what's that? Nah, Parkway and Pals. What's that? Like, like you know, like... It's gonna be like the cover gonna be like on some cartoon shit. Yeah, you ain't gotta tell yeah. them too much, but you know, just kinda yeah. give them the yeah. Okay, I got, okay. I call it Parkway and Pals cause it's gonna be like me and like some of my favorite like artists down here. Mm -hmm. So I was you know I like how Lil Baby Tour was like Lil Baby or Fr Lil Baby and Friends, some shit like that. Mm -hmm. But my shit like Parkway and Pals, like it just so happened like his shit was dead and my shit that type shit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be me and like and a couple other like hard. It's a, it's some artists down here, bro. Y'all didn't even hear like, yeah. just hard, bro. They go crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So is it gonna be all up and coming artists? It ain't gonna be like no big times. It's gonna be like up and coming artists. I'm you trying. Play. I'm trying to get like at least two. Yeah. At least two big names on there. Who like yeah. if you could get a song with anybody? Like who would your two top two artists be? Like if you get a song right now with anybody, you'll drop everything. Be like, shit, we can do this shit right now. I'm gonna keep with the band. If I can get a song with anybody right now, it gotta be Drake and Lil Baby. Drake. Drake and Lil Baby. Only because I know they gonna get me there. Yeah, one yeah. song with Drake gonna get me there. All I need is one. Yeah. I can I can do the rest myself. Yeah. Come on, music. Once they hear my music, they gonna keep gravitating towards me anyway. So I don't need number one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, what's your what's your what's your what's your thoughts on the future of your music? You know, like yeah. what do you what do you try to what are you trying to be in the next five three years with your music? I'm trying to be a pop star, like bro. Like I'm trying to gravitate from the, to the rap. I'm trying to cross over to pop. To be honest, what you mean by that? Like what you mean? Like I'm trying to be on like some Drake. Little baby, little Uzi type level. Like I want, yeah. I want that bread, bread. Like if I'm gonna do this shit, I'm gonna, I wanna do this shit all the way. Like I don't wanna have do this shit. I don't wanna still be like 
I ain't doing it. They, they weird ass. I'm, I'm gonna do this shit. Like, this shit ain't weird, yeah. bro. Like to me, like a nigga like Lil Uzi, bro. That nigga hard, cause that, that nigga, nigga he hard. really be fresh as hell. Then like yeah. they be having all the bad women and all that, cause Facts. women like this type of stuff. Like they Facts. like all that awkward. It ain't yeah. awkward. It just then they got his own style. He get his bag, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I want that bag, mm -hmm. like that, like that local rapper, or being in the hood still, like that bag, cool. But I want that bag. Like I wanna like, yeah, yeah like. Man, they're touching a billion. Come on, bro. I want that bag, bro. Like I'm finna do this shit all the way if I'm finna do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you have a uh, do you have like do you have a manager? Do you have people that help you with this? Or are you doing this all solo? Um, I ain't got no manager, but I got like amazing support system. I got an amazing team, bro. Like a whole SB4, yeah, I love it on the death. Like yeah. the support from them crazy and that shit just make me go harder. That shit just from them that shit just turn me up every time. Like, cause they gonna go all the way. Like even if I'm slacking, like this for this interview, they took like, don't forget we gotta do the interview. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they owe me. So basically, you got a team. You got a team that. Like, cause you be you be busy as hell, you be forgetting shit. Sometimes they'll remind you, like, are y'all in a group chat or y'all kind of like? For sure, for sure, okay. for sure. We in a group chat. Like, whenever I forget, so like my uncle, he like he remind me with shit. Like he see little showcases, he sending them to me. Like, cause he see it. Like when we when I did the showcase for Trap, yeah, I got on stage. Like he was just telling me, like, man, you I, I you can do this shit. Like I see it in you. Yeah. Like. I can't really see it in me. I'm just doing this, you know what I'm saying, because it's fun. This shit helped me, yeah. like, feel, you know what I'm saying, stress-free. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right, bit, 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 man. So, uh, to get ready to wrap things up, bro, like, tell them where they can find you at on Instagram, where they want to find you on Instagram, and tell them where they can follow you at. Tell them something that you got dropping real soon. Man, we got that Parkway and Pals tape on the way. Y'all be looking out for that. Y'all add me on IG at Parkway TJ. All platforms, I'm streaming. Go get Heartbreak TJ. It's out right now. That shit going crazy. My number one single right now on Heartbreak TJ is Beethoven. That motherfucker over 10 point, 10,000 like type screams type shit. That motherfucker going crazy. Like, y'all just keep fucking with me. I'm gonna fuck with y'all. I love y'all. I love the support from all my supporters. Real talk for that shit. Yeah, that shit won. So, man, appreciate you for coming on up next. I appreciate you, bro. Some more shit coming soon. Yeah.